Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here back in the aquarium lab with a video that's all about how to absolutely just destroy algae. Some say it's kind of like taking a sledgehammer and just knocking it out of existence. Okay, so actually nobody really says that, but it's basically what happens and you'll see by the end of this video. I first want to apologize for not uploading for a couple weeks. You know how it goes with the holidays and New Year's and all that stuff, excuse, excuse. But now that I'm all rested up, I'm gonna try really hard to upload a video at least every two to three days. And I know it's kind of annoying that I don't have a set schedule yet, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to set a schedule because I don't want to disappoint you guys if I can't make it happen. To sort of combat this, obviously be subscribed to the channel, but even if you are, make sure you go down and hit the notification bell or button or whatever it is that's attached to the subscribe button so you know exactly when I do upload a video. It helps me out a lot and it's gonna help you guys out a lot, especially if you like to watch my videos. I have been working really hard the last couple of weeks though. If you guys are curious, make sure you head over to Instagram. I'm leaking pictures of sort of the tank projects and stuff that I'm working on over there and I think some of you guys will really appreciate that. But enough of that, let's go head over to the 72 and check out what we're gonna be doing to absolutely get rid of a ton of algae that I have growing over there. That thumbnail was not clickbait, it wasn't overly photoshopped or anything, our algae is actually going to be turning red and you'll see how and why by the end of this video. All right guys, so this tank has seen better days. The 72 has turned into more or less my holding tank for a bunch of different stuff. You can see I got rocks all over the place in here, I got pot scrubbers, plants up there in the corner, some more plants over here that are waiting to go into one of my new tanks, and everything in this tank has just gotten away from me. There's a little bit of algae on the front of the glass, which you can't really see from here. It's not too bad, though. Most of it is in the back here. You can see that I tried to make a little smiley face in the algae, but you know what? Algae doesn't make us happy. It makes us sad, so let's fix this. There's my attempt at a couple of frowny faces. Not the easiest things to decipher, but you get the point. We don't want this algae in the tank. It's definitely making me sad coming out and looking at this tank. So let's talk about how we can fix it. There's a bunch of different types of algae, and in this case, we do have two main types. First, we have the algae that's on the back wall. This stuff is really easy to deal with. It's really loosely attached, and we can get in there with a sponge just fine and get rid of all of it. When you have more of the spot algae, which it kind of looks like we do up here, but this stuff isn't as bad as the true sort of brown, green spot algae that you get on glass that often requires a razor blade. So that can help to get rid of that type of algae if a sponge just isn't quite doing it. But then we have algae that grows on plants, like you see here on the needle leaf java fern in the back. Interestingly enough, all the other java fern doesn't have algae growing on it. And so up here in the corner, we have the pump that's blowing directly on those leaves of the java fern, and that's where all that algae has just taken over. But nowhere else in the tank can we find it. So that's pretty interesting. This is telling me that this algae really appreciates a strong flow, and it also might have to do with the plant itself. Different plants will promote different types of algal growth, and in this case, for whatever reason, the needle leaf is the one that this algae selected to grow on. But no worries, it's super easy to deal with, which we're gonna do here in a second using one of my favorite methods to get rid of algae that's growing on plants. First, I'm gonna go through this tank here a little bit, clean some stuff up, tidy some things up. I can get these rocks out of here. I don't need this tank to be so cluttered with, with all these things. So we're gonna do that here real quick, do a little water change, and we'll get back to how we're gonna deal with this stuff. guys so while the tank is filling back up let's go ahead and deal with this pesky algae now we got really lucky in this case for a couple different reasons 
One, the Java Fern is super easy to remove from the tank. If you have a bunch of algae on, say, a few stems of Laguigia, and you wanna take care of it right away, depending on your substrate situation, it might be a little bit harder to deal with. So I have soil in my tanks, you guys know this. If I'm dealing with a plant that has a massive root system, like the Crip Retro Spiralis that I have, it's gonna be pretty much impossible to get that plant physically out of the tank without creating a ton of work for myself. But again, it all depends on your situation. A lot of the times, even if a plant is rooted, you can get it out without creating, you know, something crazy going on in the tank requiring you to have to do like a 90% water change or anything. So just know that you can do this method in pretty much any situation. The amount of work you have to do afterwards is going to depend on that type of plant and your substrate, of course. So anyway, back to this case, we got really lucky because a lot of this algae here is only attached to a few different leaves. So the first thing that I like to do, and especially in this case, is go ahead and physically remove as much of this stuff as I can from the plant. So that's gonna be pretty easy to do. I'm just gonna go through and pull off some of the big chunks. I'm gonna try not to pull off you know, any leaves here. I don't wanna damage the plant if I can help it. This stuff ended up coming off of the plant actually really easily. I just took my fingers, as you saw, and sort of went down along the leaves, and most of it came off. What I did was I left a little bit on here on purpose to show you the effects of the method we're about to use. Maybe this wasn't the best example, wasn't the best example of a plant to do this treatment for, but just know that you can use it on essentially any plant with varying tolerance to the method. So if you haven't noticed already, we're gonna be using bleach. We're gonna be doing a bleach dip on this plant to kill the algae. And once this is done and we get the plant back in the tank, you'll be able to actually watch the algae die, which is pretty cool. And it also lets you know that your technique worked. So all you need for this is some bleach and a couple containers to hold some water and a bleach solution that we're about to make. So what's pretty typical is to make more or less a 5% bleach solution. So here we have about one liter of water and we have 20 mils of bleach. So if we add this here, it'll make a 5% solution in this beaker. Just in case you're wondering, this is also equivalent to one part bleach to 20 parts water, which is typically accepted in the hobby as a method for doing bleach dips. So all we're gonna do is take our 20 mils of bleach and pour it in to our one liter of water. This is just regular tap water. Give it a little mix here. And now we're ready to dip our plant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab here where most all of the algae is on the plant and just try and dip this part into our solution. Different plants are gonna have different tolerances to the amount of time that they spend in the bleach solution. This is one of those things that isn't well documented for a ton of different plants out there. You know, Anubius is a plant that typically gets algae on it and people have shown, you know, 30 seconds dip is totally fine for the plant. Other people have had problems doing it for that long. Some people can dip it for two minutes and not have a problem. But Java Fern is one of those bulletproof plants, so I'm not concerned about any damage happening to the plants. Just the algae is gonna get fried in this solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a dip for 30 seconds and then see what the results are. I recommend you also do some experimenting. Start out, you know, if you're unsure, do 15 seconds in the solution, see what happens, and we'll go ahead and show sort of the procedure of doing this. So again, I'm gonna grab the plant by where all of this stuff is, it's kinda hard to do with one hand, but we're gonna put it into the solution. And we're gonna hold it in here for 30 seconds. Make sure all the leaves that have the algae get in there. You can see down here all the strings of the algae sitting in the bleach. Remember guys, Java Fern has a rhizome, not a root system. We obviously don't wanna get any part of this in the bleach, and you would also follow the same rule for stem plants. You don't wanna get roots into this solution either. Once our 30 seconds is up, we're gonna take the plant and we're gonna rinse it in just some regular water. This is gonna help get all the bleach off of the plant, we don't wanna put this plant back into our tank with bleach still on it, so this is how we deal with that. Just rinse it around a little bit, and we're done. You guys can also do this to power heads and pumps and stuff that might have some algae on them. The pump that was right directly behind the Java Fern had some, so I'm gonna go ahead 
and soak pretty much the whole thing in this container. We don't need to worry about time here. We don't have to do it for you know 30 seconds. The pump's not gonna die if it's exposed to bleach for too long. So we can let that sit in there for a couple minutes, you know, five, 10 minutes if you want, no big deal. And then of course, rinse it off in a new thing of water. So here's that same plant that we just dipped back in the aquarium. Wanted to show you guys how cool this is. Look at all the algae. It's turned red. It went from that, that almost light, that light black color to a bright red. This is the proof that your bleach dip has worked. This happened almost instantly. This is what you should see basically right away after you take the plant out of the bleach. Now I've done it in the past where we didn't see this bleaching effect take place for a few minutes when the plant was back in the tank. That's no big deal. This can also mean that you might need to do another dip on it again, but in this case, the 30 second bleach dip worked perfectly. Some algae, depending on what type it is, might turn white. This also still might turn white eventually. And actually your fish will go and eat it depending on what kind of fish you have. So you can just leave it on there. It'll fall off in a few days. You won't see it anymore. Again, fish will pick it off. It'll fall off kind of naturally. And then your plant will be back to looking 100%. Now I'm just gonna scan around the plant and look for some other areas maybe where I missed, but everything looks perfect. Now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and finish with my tank maintenance. I'm gonna get this plant back into position and get the tank a looking back the way it was before it got totally overrun with algae. We got the tank filled up. The plant is still in the same position but you learn something new every day. So check this out guys. You know how I was just talking about how this algae looks red, right? As a result of the bleaching. And I also mentioned that I've seen it where it turns a white color as well. Well check this out. This is not a camera trick. This is exactly how your eyes will see it. I'm viewing it now from the top and it's red. If I go down below and look up, it's now white or gray. Isn't that crazy? I don't know why that is. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Let everybody know what the deal is with that because that is just, it's like magic. It's magic algae. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put the plant back over here where it originally was, and then we're gonna watch it sort of disappear as the days go by. I'll be sure to update you guys with that in the next few upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I wanna know what you do to prevent and or kill algae in your aquarium. Let me know what you think of bleach dips and if you do them. Don't forget to subscribe and also head over to Instagram to get a sneak peek at all the projects that I'm working on. I think you guys are gonna love them and I'm working really hard to get them finished and on film for you guys. Thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you next time.